my name is Navigator, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys some brief Fallout news. There's kind of been a lot going on this week. Uh, well, maybe not a lot, but there are some big announcements, uh, number one being the Fallout trailer. Now, I believe it was today, the Fallout trailer was officially dropped on the, uh, the Amazon or Prime YouTube channel, whatever it is. So if you guys have not seen it, be sure to go check it out. It is definitely worth a watch, and I've been seeing a bunch of people kind of doing reviews and stuff like that. Uh, I just took some notes as I was watching it, and I'm going to go over these. Uh, majority of them are just things that I saw, or things that I saw that were in-game that I kind of wanted to talk about. So number one, when the trailer first starts, hey, can you please shut the hell up? Thank you. Very rude of you. Incredibly rude of you. Um, so yeah, number one, uh, Shady Sands is referenced in the opening moments of the trailer. There's kind of like a sign, a little billboard that makes reference to Shady Sands, like Welcome to Shady Sands, something like that. So there we go. Something else that I saw was stim packs, and they look uh, pretty much one for one in the uh, the game as they do in the show. So that was really cool. Alongside that, uh, we saw like stuff like Radex. So they are gonna have those kinds of uh, I guess items or chems, whatever you want to call it, in the show, and I'm very thankful for that. I want to see if, like, they'll kind of do a thing where one of the characters gets, like, shot or something, and they just pop a stim pack, and it's all good. That would be pretty cool to see. Moving on from that, uh, the theme song for the trailer was It's All Over But The Crying, which is not really that much of a surprise. Some other things that we saw was uh, Mr. Handy. We saw a Pridwin. Oh, man, you gotta be kidding me every time. But, yeah, uh, while well, I deal with these... Uh, Rabble Rousers. Yeah, so Mr. Handy and the Bridwin. I was very excited to see that. Those are really cool. And it seems like uh, the main Vault Dweller character, the, uh, the woman, there's like a scenario where she's going to be like stuck with this crazy Mr. Handy, and that'll be pretty sweet. I'm very excited to see that. Any more of these guys here? Doesn't look like it. We'll hop back into camera mode, and I can continue this. Um, so yeah, that's uh, yeah, Mr. Handy. I don't know, that was just really creepy in the trailer. I don't know if you guys saw it too, but man, that kind of creeped me out. The number one thing that really kind of shocked me was the power armor in the show. As you guys know, in the game, uh, power armor helmets are usually just like a solid piece that you like take off. If you ever see any characters without, uh, or excuse me, if you see characters in power armor uh, and they want you to see their face, like Paladin Dance, for example, or like Knight Shin, Knight Romani, when they're in their armor, they usually just have the whole helmet off. Something that I noticed in the show is that the uh, power armor helmet almost works like Iron Man's helmet, where just the face piece kinds of com kind, excuse me, kind of comes off. And I was like, I don't really think that's how power armor works. Maybe it was just a thing for the show, make things a lot easier, make more sense. Then again, like having a removable 40 pound metal helmet on your head probably isn't the best, but I don't know. So there's a new thing that I saw that wasn't really in line with the game. Moving on from that, we saw the LA Observatory at one point that looked like it had kind of been taken over. There was fencing around it. And in the background, you can kind of see parts of LA. You don't really get that good of a look for it, uh, or excuse me, that good of a look at it. Uh, but of course, we know LA as the Boneyard. And with a name like that, you should probably expect it's not going to be the most uh, hospitable or habitable place, so there's that, but it was still cool to see some parts of L.A. still intact. Something else I noticed is Walton Goggins' character, the guy that plays kind of like the ghoul sheriff or whatever, from what I picked up on, it seems like he was some kind of former actor, kind of like cowboy, uh, you know, action movie star, slash, uh, you know, salesman or promoter on commercials for Vault Tech. We see, um, we see like a picture of, or a video of him in like a cowboy movie. We see him doing the, uh, the intro for the show and kind of, you know, doing this like a Vault Tech commercial. And then we also see him with his daughter. So here is my theory. Here's my theory. I think that, that, uh, Walton Goggins' character is going to be facing the same fate as the Vault Tech representative from Fallout 4, where, you know, He's uh, doing all this stuff for Vault Tech, and I'm sure they're promising him this or that. I guarantee you there's going to be a thing where, like, he shows up at a nearby vault, and they're like, oops, sorry, and then him and his daughter have to, like, go out in the wasteland. The daughter ends up perishing, and then he is left alone as a ghoul. That is my theory for his story. Uh, one of the coolest things that I saw was a Brotherhood of Steel soldier literally punching a Yao Guai in the face. I don't know if y'all saw that, but that was sweet, and I cannot wait to see that moment in the show. A guy in power armor just haymakering a freaking Yao Guai. It was insane. Very excited for that. 
We also got a little glimpse at a mutated catfish. We got a very, very brief look at like a rad roach or some kind of insect. Uh, one of the characters like stomps on it and it kind of like all this green rat radiation filled blood squirts out. So we saw that, which is nice because that means the monsters are going to be very true to form at least. And we might see some new creatures. I don't think we've seen a mutated catfish yet. So there we go. I think we've only ever seen a mutated catfish in, uh, what is it, the Metro games. So there you go. That was really cool to see. Maybe it was an axolotl. I have no idea. But still, that was really cool. Um, and then, yeah, it's uh, almost one month away. April 11th. Today, me uploading this video, it is March 7th. So a little tiny bit over a month until that show uh, pops off. And I'm very excited for that. Right around WrestleMania time, too. So that'll be a great week week two weeks um okay overall though it looks very good i like how they stayed true to the game style all the outfits all the like the stim packs the radix it all looks really uh almost like it was taken straight out of the game which i'm very happy for kind of reminds me of a uh, wolverine's new outfit in the deadpool and wolverine movie very comic-esque um it seems like the visuals uh will be amazing it seems a little unrealistic at times, but it looks like the visuals and the effects are going to be really, really nice. And in my opinion, as long as you have that, it could make up for whatever, ho hopefully not garbage story they do. I've been seeing a lot of people online talking about, you know, oh, I don't want to be woke, whatever. Dude, I don't really care about that. I just want to see the graphics. I want to see Fallout in real life, and I'll be, I'll be good. That. And also, I'm sure the story will be fine, so guys, don't worry about it. I think it'll be a totally cool thing. I think people just get nervous when there's a, uh, a female protagonist. Alright, um, yeah, I, uh, I, Vault 33 jumpsuit, we have that in Fallout 76. We also saw that in the show, in the trailer, so that was cool. But I'm going to leave that uh, as my kind of me talking about the show. There are a couple other things going on this week related to Fallout that I did want to discuss. Number one, um, kind of the least interesting thing, this week, and I, I don't really know the exact date or the exact year of this anniversary, but this week is the something anniversary. I'm assuming, like, well, let's see. Nuclear tests were done in the 1940s, around there, maybe 50. So let's let's cap it at like 1950, 50 to 2000, 50 years, and it's 2024. I think it's like uh, 70 something anniversary of the Castle Bravo nuclear bomb test. If you guys don't know what that is, really quick, probably not accurate synopsis. Uh, when they were testing out the nuclear bombs or something like that, they dropped them in the uh, the South Pacific near the uh, Bikini Atolls, and uh, it just totally ravaged those islands. Um, a lot of the inhabitants of those islands were indigenous, and they wore very plain and simple clothes. A lot of their skin was exposed, and uh, about a couple hours after they first dropped the bomb, which, by the way, was spanned miles into the ocean, easily one of the largest explosions ever recorded in human history, fallout. Uh, started coming down from the sky, radioactive fallout, and it actually caused a lot of problems for these people, burning their skin, making them infertile, a lot of things like that. And I just kind of wanted to uh, talk about that. I mean, I know we talk a lot about nuclear fire and, you know, launching nukes and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, there has been some real kind of real-world relation to that this week, and I don't know, just kind of want to get that out of there. If any of you guys know any, like, a, like a whole lot about Castle Bravo or whatever, let me know in the comments below. You guys know me. I have a degree in history. I teach history, and I, I just didn't really feel like looking it up. I just want to let you know about that, but let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear more about Castle Bravo. Um, and then, yeah, the biggest piece of news, in my opinion, is that Fallout 2 is free with Prime Gaming. Last month, we got Fallout 1 for free, and it seems like what they're doing is they're just kind of giving us these two games for free before the show comes out. I doubt we'll see like Fallout 3 for free uh, next month or something like that, but who knows? So yeah, uh, if you claimed it last month, if you claimed Fallout 1 last month, you can now claim Fallout 2 this month, and you guys can go and play those amazing games. The foundation of everything we are discussing right now. Yeah, it seems like that's it. Um, I'm going to link an article down below if you want more information on the free game, and that's going to be from GamingBible.com. But that's it, folks. So, yeah, just a kind of a video. I wanted to discuss some news and stuff that was going on this week. Uh, yeah, so there you go. I'm not going to waste any more of your time, folks. Once again, quick review of the show. Uh, we talked about Castle Bravo, and then we also talked about getting Fallout 2 for free with Prime Gaming. As always, folks, my name is Navigator. Have a nice day. Take care.